Minecraft's story mode has been underwhelming so far, with a decent first episode, then a pretty mediocre second episode. Episode 3 has some amazing moments, but also suffers from the same issues as the previous episodes. At the end of episode 2, we had the antagonist Ivor cornered, only for him to throw a potion at the heroes that slowed their movement to a crawl whilst he escaped. This is where episode 3 begins. From here we go on the search for another hero, this time Sauron the Architect. This episode's opening is great. You fight your way through a giant grinder room which is designed to destroy anything that comes into contact with it. This is an incredibly well orchestrated section. The visuals and music are great and all this is happening whilst the opening credits are popping up. There's also a great section that sees you sneaking through a herd of endermen by dressing up as one of them. Episode 3 also has the most meaningful choice we've seen in this series yet. This choice will result in a dire circumstance for a character either way. Seeing something like this in story mode is interesting. I'm glad to see that this series can also have some more heartfelt and dramatic moments amongst its overall ridiculous tone. And the new hero, Sauron, is the first new character in a while who I've really liked. The voice acting for him is excellent and enhances this already funny and well written character. Episode 3 has two huge issues though. First is that I still think that the overall cast is a little weak. I dislike more characters than I like, and episode 3 did very little to make me care more about most of the characters who were introduced in the first two episodes. I still think that Petra and Lucas are the only characters from early on who are interesting. Petra is a huge focus of this episode. As we know from the last episode, she's sick from being exposed to the Witherstorm. This episode shows that her condition is not improving and has left me curious about her future. Lucas appeared to be acting aggressive at the beginning of this episode, but halfway through we get to have a conversation with him where he explains why he's been in a bad mood, and this is one of the strongest conversations in the series yet. My second major issue with episode 3 is the fact that the story just doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Near the ending, I thought we were finally making a big leap forward, but then the game immediately backtracked and made me feel like I had made no progress at all. Like episode 2, episode 3 is also very short, at just over an hour long. This really isn't a problem though, because unlike episode 2, this episode feels tight and concise. Episode 3 of Minecraft Story Mode is my favourite episode yet, but I still think it's got a long way to go to be anywhere near the quality of series like The Walking Dead and Tales from the Borderlands. I'm giving episode 3 of Minecraft Story Mode a 7. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe for new reviews every week.